Tell them what we're doing today, as we did mention in the last video. This people hair shine. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, what no. the hell is this? What? What is it? Ew. That's why is there a hair? Hat? This is not my hair. That's why is your hair. hair. Why is there a hair in your beard? <laughs> this video today, guys, is about love and Islam. No, we're going to talk about love in this land. What By the way, what if a non Muslim guy wanted to marry you or a non Muslim girl? From what I know, um, Islamically, the man is allowed to marry the woman who is from a religion of the books. So that's Jewish, Christian, or Muslim. Yeah. But the woman isn't allowed to marry anybody other than a Muslim. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, if a man's allowed to do that, why is a woman not allowed to do it? But that's because of the way mm. the roles are put into Islam. It's yeah. like the man's role is to spread the deen and to, you know, he, if the man is the leader, the children are most likely to follow <laughs> the man, the man's religion, yeah. mostly. Because the woman, um, the women's are the nurturers. Yeah, the but that's that's, that's the Islamic yeah. point of view. But obviously we do... We know we've seen couples that are, you know, two different making religions. it work yeah. and stuff like that. But Allah knows best whether their intentions are pure or not, or whether their deeds will be accepted, whether their marriage is accepted or not. But according to the Quran and Sunnah, that is what is allowed: is that the man is allowed and right. They have a sinful past. Should I still marry them? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Because everyone can, everyone's got can a simple past. Yeah. I feel like everyone sins. Yeah, every, so the thing is, right, you will always be a sinner. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, nobody can ever be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we were watching the movie Noor, no, right? This isn't based off of the Islamic perspective. I think this is based off of the Christian perspective when they made the movie. But he even said in the movie, he was like, we're no different from, from any other man. Wickedness you know, just in them. We are prophets, but still we're no different because the way we visualize and see things, we would react the same as they would in certain situations. So that makes us no different. So, I mean, I feel like we have been put on this earth, you know, we're going to sin, but that's why Allah is the ever merciful. Do you know what I mean? And you always forgive your sins. And there's so many ways to get your sins forgiven for. So obviously I think it's perfectly fine to marry someone who has a sinful past. And the thing too about that is to help them and guide them in the right direction, if that makes sense. Do you know Miriam, what I mean? Fina's laughing. <gasps> like, fully laughing right now. Oh my god, that's so scary. Third question. Can you marry your cousin in Islam? Yeah. You can. In Islam, yes, you can. Yeah. I know Yusuf finds this really weird because in their culture, it's like... It's... Because of it being Prophet Adam and his wife Hawa were like the first two people on earth, right? Yeah. So when they had children, it was like... Oh, right. They were, yeah. So the siblings... Because they were from born, separate wombs. But she yeah. had separate wombs. So yeah. I'm assuming that is where marrying your cousins is allowed comes from. Like, comes as from, long yeah. as they're from separate wombs, it's allowed. Mm. My personal opinion is that you shouldn't because I feel like it creates like this division in the family if anything goes wrong. Mm, yeah. See, mm -hmm. and that's something like you want to... Like if there's two sides to the family, like, oh... A lot um, of conflict drama will yeah, arise it, and all it, that kind of stuff. It's a lot. Like if yeah. it goes well, obviously, alhamdulillah, but yeah. when problems arise, then you're creating problems between two families that are tight knit. Yeah. Question about questions. Okay, go on. <laughs> so say you were about to marry someone. Yeah. What would be a couple fundamental questions you would ask? Them oh, I made a TikTok about them. this. Wait, let me go to my TikTok. Oh, I found it. I found it. Like an arranged marriage? Like you should definitely speak about work and who's going to be handling the finances. Oh, okay. Who's going to be I thought budgeting. you wanted me to answer it. No. Okay. That's something I wrote down. Do you yes, agree? That's yeah, I agree with that. And if the woman wants to work, even after marriage, she can work. You know, it's her choice. Yeah, she's allowed to. That's yeah, her choice. That's her but choice. let me just remind you guys: whatever the woman earns is hers, and whatever the man's earn, what the, whatever the man earns is split. Hers and hers. Hers Basically. and his. Hers and his. his. Hers and his. His and, and hers. Well, you can't but, take all my money. I need obviously, some. Obviously, <laughs> but if the woman does decide to work and help provide and help towards, you know, the bills and stuff, then that's a charity on her. That, yeah. that goes from her as a sadaqa, mm. whereas from the man, it goes as a duty. But obviously, they both get rewarded for it. Yeah. So 
if the woman chooses to go to work and she comes home after a long day of work, does she still have to do wife household duties as well to uphold her side of marriage? Still? She doesn't have to. She doesn't she have to. She chooses to. That's a chargeable. Yeah, because I, I I know there's a lot of conflict that goes on with like women. Yeah. Like, yeah, you still have to go and you still have to cook. You still have to do this. It's your choice to go and work. And I mean, I think it should be evenly balanced. If you go out and work, then you should keep it a balanced household. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you're you're a partnership. You're yeah, not exactly. a other rival. Person. Your rival. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. You should talk about children, when and how many children you want. Mm. You should talk about what would be your ideal way ideal way to discipline a child. And I think that's a very important question yes. to know your parenting styles because. That's something that me and Yusuf have argued about the most. We fought about it so we much because discuss it at all. We had um, well, almost kind of the same upbringings, um, but our perspectives of raising yeah. children were very different because I stuck to the old school, how my dad raised me standards, yeah. and she and went I to feel school. Like, she I went feel to like men do that usually. They will stick to the parenting style that their parents parented. Not them. all the time. Like ETV quiet. You yeah. literally want to be violent. <laughs> you want to be violent. Violent. You want to be violent. Violent. You want to be violent. Women, they learn from their parents' mistakes and decide to not do them again. Mm. Whereas men think that okay, if my parents did that, that's the way I need to be as well. Yeah. How would you treat an animal? What do you do in your spare time? What do you believe the duties of a wife are towards a husband and vice versa? What do you think of polygamy? Is a that's big a good one. one. And let do me you have... tell you. Let me tell you, girls, if you want. Your husband to not be able to marry anyone else after you not after you like with you like second marriage you can write it in your nikah contract and then if he does go ahead and do it that's a sin on him and you can divorce him well if your husband doesn't want to marry all wives okay so there's a difference in opinion with that one when it comes to polygamy is that some people believe that when you want to marry a second wife a third or a fourth it needs to be within reasoning of whether she's yeah. widowed divorced can't look after herself and you're wealthy enough to take on that responsibility for all four of them. Um, because that's what the prophet sallallahu alaihi did he never married a single woman just because he always married the widowed the divorced the needy you know someone that needed him basically yeah that's the view that i go by but then there's other people that go by the view of you can marry solely for desire we don't want to follow what we desire because that's something of the shia team you know what i mean like desires is something that is that will consume you in this dunya right yeah and we, i feel like we should just stick to following the way of how the prophet did it like if you actually deep it right you wouldn't think that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, would go and marry women just for desires he had a reason and that's the reason why he did it so i feel yeah. like that's a way to follow it yeah that's just also, my that's just my honest there opinion. is gonna be a point in time in earth where there's gonna be more women than men and that's that's where this rule actually comes from from yeah. the time where there was more women than men yeah. and there's going to be you know more wars more battles where there will be more women than men because men will go out to battle and stuff and they will lose more men mm. um so therefore this rule is there so that you know men can look after women yeah. lawfully <laughs> Yeah, Any mental health issues is I another I think that's the question you have to ask. mental health issues, yes. I've got all sorts. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. thing. You need to know your whether your spouse is like ADHD, diagnosed with anything or has, has any symptoms. Has any like symptoms or like he's got like OCD, he's, anxiety, like, he's got anxiety yeah, or depression stuff. or like something. If he's got something before you get into that marriage, please, please, please look into it research about it and yeah. figure out ways how you're gonna make it I'm work still i'm still learning i still she's still struggling with me different personalities yeah because i've, I've got like person. different personalities and i'm is... like hey which one is this one today <laughs> Funny. <laughs> literally honestly i'm just gonna quickly go through what do you think about having friends of the opposite gender do you expect me to live with your family after marriage or would we have our own place do you think good character is more important or salah would you expect my dress sense to change after marriage um, do you have childhood traumas? What would you say your love language is? These what are, really are some good. things that trigger you? How would you control your anger? If my living standard is higher than yours, would you be willing to raise yours or would you be would you expect me to lower mine? Do you have any debts? And if you do, how are you planning to eliminate? Them? That's some really damn good question. I ain't gonna lie. Those are questions I wrote down after figuring out that those are questions I didn't ask him. Yeah. And I should have asked him. What do you expect your relationship to be like with the family of your spouse? I think it really just depends. Honestly, I feel like it just depends on how accepting and welcoming they are to you um, and to your spouse. I feel like a lot of the times people have disagreements to the person that you're marrying. 
and that could cause a lot of uprising issues. But if you guys can figure out ways to work around that and build that comfortability with the family, then it'll nullify every single issue that might come in the near future. <laughs> to be honest, I, I wouldn't care. For me, I don't think I would care. I feel like that's a cultural difference yeah. that we have. Yeah. Like his family is like very distant, like not distant, but we're not distant. We stay in they touch. Don't speak. We don't speak as much. Yeah, but we're like, like we're very connected with yeah, the like, soul. But then with our family, we're like, oh, you have to wish happy birthdays at twelve a.m. You have to ha wish happy New Year's. You have to call every day. You have to send pictures. You have to send videos. All this and that. Yeah. These lot talk to each other like once a year and then they're done. Yeah. Literally, that's we it. literally do like. I think like, I've spoken to his dad in the past six years twice, maybe like both spouse and the family need to respect each other but yeah. again i don't think it's it's not the wife's duty to cater mm. for the man's family at all but if she does it obviously that is a good deed on her but she should never stop the man catering for his family yeah. like she should always be okay with him looking after his family even if she doesn't want to contribute to it she should always support him and you know be happy with him looking after his family okay go ahead can a parent refuse a proposal from a good muslim for his daughter on the basis that the suitor is not of the same race slash caste okay islamically no that is not correct on the parent to do so and if something like that does happen the girl can then go to the next wali which is like the granddad the uncle right so those are the people. So she she can go and ask the next the next guardian, then the next guardian, then the next the next guardian until there are no men, no more guardians to ask. And if they all keep on rejecting for no shari reasons, then she can go to like a judge, like a Sharia law judge, yeah, and they can accept the marriage, yeah. basically. Okay. If they are like murderers or you know they're rude and or they do fraud, then yeah, that's that's a Sharia reason to reject a marriage. But if they don't have a Sharia reason to reject a daughter's marriage, it. they shouldn't do it. And if they do, then there are things that you can do to... I don't think they should do it. I don't think they can do it. I mean, because it is the daughter's decision. No, of course they can't do it. Yeah. But yeah. Still. Like, we need to remember what the Prophet Sallallahu did. The Prophet Sallallahu always listened to his children yeah. when it came to... Or like his It wasn't forced anything. It, 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 it wasn't... Marriage. Yeah, and it wasn't more, it wasn't like where he was like, oh, you know, because of the way I'm wanting us to live our lifestyle. Yeah. I'm going to restrict you from these people, right? Yeah. Or these type of people that you want to He was just very open, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just want to end guys, off. Sorry, guys. I just. I want to end off with like a quick advice. Like, overwhelmed, but guys. Quick advice for all the parents out there. Please don't discriminate when your children come to you with a marriage that they want to be in or they tell you that they love someone or something. Mm. Please, please, please don't just look at the person and be like, no, I don't like the way they look. Make sure you look into the character of that person, the family, how they live, everything, and then make your decision. And when it comes to you being like, oh, I don't want my children to get married until they achieve this, this and this. Don't look at marriage like that. Like, let your children get their nikah done so that they have a halal relationship. Maybe don't tell anyone about it so that you're not worried about what will people say if it doesn't work out. Just don't tell anyone. Let them get their nikah done. They'll have a halal relationship. You will be at ease. They'll be all right in the eyes of Allah. They can be happy. And then once they're ready to move forward and, you know, do their do their um, ruksati and ulima and everything, they can do that when they're ready, when they feel like they're financially stable, etc. But mm. when it comes to love... The Prophet ﷺ has said that when two people love each other, the best thing for them to do is to get married. So don't stop that. Don't stop that from happening. Don't stop it, guys. Yeah. Marriage is a blessing, work, guys. That's why Eti doesn't want to get married. <laughs> it's such a blessing. Yeah, we'll Take care, guys. guys. Like, share, soon. and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, catch us in the next video. Bye. Take care.